Hello, Fenton here. Please stand back from the platform edge because it's the monster train. Uh, I shaved my beard, which uh, really only means one thing as far as you're concerned, and that is that the microphone can be a little bit closer to my face without scratching my beard. We did a win as Hellhorned Awoken last time. I don't remember any part of that. I don't remember that run. I don't remember that in the slightest. It's been a few days. It's been two days. That means it's Awoken Random. Covenant rank 23. Heavy enemy units have increased health. That's, that's worrying. We're in the big leagues now. The leagues, they are big. And sit cross-legged. Sit cross-legged on my chair, like a child. It's green-red. We played red-green, and then we got green-red. Seraph, the temperament. Temper the strength of your units. Two stings, two fortifies, and an awake. Sting. Don't stand. Don't stand so close to me. Rage adds an additional one per stack, or vapor funnel. Now, if you get off a vapor funnel, you kind of just take it. That's my analysis. Oh no, these are the not the two good ones. These are the two not as good ones. How does explosive? How does how do these scale? I don't know. Twenty and forty, or forty and a hundred, a hundred HP, a hundred. Do we take the sentient and stick it in front of an alpha fiend, and then that's how we win? Maybe. I guess we're take. I guess we're drawing a bunch of cards. I guess we're drawing a bunch of cards. I'm not super happy about it. But rejuvenate twenty damage to the front is like a kind of much, much, much worse version of spikes. Plus, we got an awake, so we should be able to keep this alive. We'll draw the awake fairly often. We'll take this for that reason. Spikes three. We're just gonna draw a whole bunch of cards. Spikes three. Yeah, we got train stewards. Train stewards can hit things three times before dying from spikes. I feel alright about this. Plus we got a vapor funnel, so I mean do we even need to play any units before Yeah we should, because the spikes the vapor funnel and spikes is not not the most sensible idea. Uh, play on the bottom. Gets us more cards drawn. Gets us awake. I mean, we have to try and beat the boss by having train stewards behind the sentient is the problem. So... Like, that is, unfortunately, the only way to win. Yeah. I guess we just play sentient on the top and just try and make it quite big quite quickly and get most things sorted with torches and stacks of reverie gen got the collector that's nice it's gonna be a weird one it's gonna be a weird one we need bigger units. The stings are finally showing up. I mean, you're just dead anyway. So we don't <laughs> you don't do a lot of damage with this champion. But we'll be alright. We'll be alright, probably. Five, 150 health can... I mean, maybe you don't play the Sentient on the top here because you don't get any value out of the revenges that you'll get from here. But, you know.
50. Wow. Five, sixty. Still just sixty, sixty-five. He's gonna be dazed. We, we, we've, we've eaten it here. We, we've eaten poo, basically. But it was a necessary evil. We needed to take a whole bunch of damage here to get a good start. Glimmer is a good card. I think a hidden passage is probably necessary, so we can try and stack trained stewards behind the sentient, or whatever other units we get that are good behind the sentient, and just hope that we get a good banner here. Probably should have checked that I was getting a Hellhorned banner and not an Awoken banner, but either way, either way, I think I think we're fine. Endless, plus 25, and Rage 7. I guess we have to take Branded Warrior, really? Put it behind the Sentient, and then Train Stewards... Yeah, it's not great. I, do I give it plus 25 and reroll, or I just reroll and find, try and find multi strike and then uh, 10, 15, or 5, 10, or whatever that upgrade is? I can't remember. I think it's a reroll. Large stone. That probably actually works as well. Sentience 2 space, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 25, 45. Slays with rage. Don't give him a large stone. Try and find a multi strike or something. Okay, well we got some damage now at least. At the start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Is this alright with Vapor Funnel? With no spikes? I think it's just an easy win. I think it's just an easy 75 coins there. Just a free 75 coins. And I think we'll just play on the bottom here to try and get the most value out of the Sentient. I mean, it doesn't do a huge amount, but at least we'll be able to, like, draw lots of glimmers and stings should the boss not make it through. Or we play on the top. No, we can't even do that. I was going to say we play on the top and at least get Branded Warrior a couple of slays from these dudes, but that doesn't help at all. I should probably play on the top though, just so at least I then get this done. But then does the sentient take too much damage in that scenario? I do have an awake and a glimmer. It's a shame this is slay and not like harvest or something. I think we still got to play on the top. These purges are not, you know. I'll play this down here to get the collector. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should have played the train steward there. Who, who knows? Who knows? Straight up play awake? No. Probably play two torches so that this guy gets another slay. Or a spike. That uh, a sting. Probably makes even more sense. And then we're gonna draw a hidden passage, so let's also do that. Providing you both live, which you do. Regen here and call that good. Um, I 
I'm gonna take four from you, which is probably alright. It's probably fine. Thirty four damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I was just, uh, I went deep into the tank there. I don't think there's a line that gets him, gets this guy below 30, 30 there, I don't think. Four damage is alright. Well, those are some Sinner's Burdens. It's possible I should have thought about playing, getting rid of them. I don't think it's going to matter. Gold. A vine grasp, a restoration donation, or a sharpen. Uh, where are we going next? Hellvent, the big boy. Another awo an awoken banner. That's probably a good, right? Because if we can get something good from the Awoken Banner and duplicate Branded Warrior, then we've got Sentient Branded Warrior and, like, a Thorn Hollow. Is Thorn Hollow 2 space? These are the things I should know after 60 hours of the game. But I don't. It is 3 space. But that's probably fine. With... Eh, maybe we take a Shadow Shell and put it behind... Or even an Animus of Will, right? An Animus of Will behind Branded Warrior. Branded Warrior gets the Slays to start with, feeds. I'm going to take the Sharpen on the assumption I will get an Animus of Will. <laughs> I don't think we need them. I don't think we need any of these. Hmm. Sweep, though. That's actually a pretty good get. 30 HP. Sweep. Kills the back line. And then Branded Warrior mops up the front. Just put the put the other Branded Warrior behind the Husk Hermit. I don't think a Woken Hollow is the answer here. Yeah, alright. When's the next Merchant of Steel? After that one that we skipped. Oh, wow. Wow, not until just before fell. That's alright. I'll go here first in case this is like dupe 5 or something. Uh, Seraph the Temperant is not the one that gives you a bunch of blights, is it? That's Seraph the Diligent. But I will take this just because there are other fights that add blight cards to the deck, so it's generally a good, generally a good option. Ember stasis, I think, and two of these. Right, just no question, two of those. Especially because we can ascend. If we end up playing on the two uh, adjacent floors, we can ascend one up to the other. Um, really, really, really should be playing Sentient not on the top, so I can actually make some use out of Revenge. Yeah. This is fine. Probably. Although, you want to be killing Backline before <laughs> this happens, I suppose. 
but again, I'm not 100%. I'm not an expert. Wow, Hoskermit is about to eat it here. It's alright, we got regens and awakes and all kinds of stuff. This isn't working, is it? <laughs> I've just just sort of noticed it's not, it's not actually really working. I need you I need slays to start happening, really. So you slay the front, you slay the back too, that's great. It's here is the problem. Is it a problem? Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe I just end up ascending this branded warrior and just calling this floor a wash. A little bit of incant here doesn't scare me too much. Maybe with the the starting relic, you know, like, I wonder how differently this run goes if I take the rage is better relic artifacts. Whatever they're called in this game, I don't know. So you're getting a sleigh, that's very nice. Do I just double up demon uh, branded warriors here? They sort of end up feeding each other, right? They're in a nice little feedback loop. How do you have 35 out of 25? Oh, that's attack. <laughs> I was, got attack and, def and, and, and health mixed up. Yeah, you're just getting nothing done down here, unfortunately. I don't really know what a plan is anymore. Just hoping for the best. This floor is quite bulky now. Oh, I drew the awake. I'm the best. A couple of nice dead weight draws there. <laughs> uh, necessary? But well, this floor does absolutely no damage at all, so. Really, the only question is whether I bother to give you six six health and three regen gets you another draw, gets you enough health. You go up to twenty eight and a regen makes you last three rounds against Daedalus at uh, four rounds instead of three, which gets me another draw. I don't I don't need the draw. I just win on this floor regardless. So I guess I'll just put the regen here instead. And don't play the glimmer so that I can get more slays. Yep. Keep these, or play one. Get rid of one. Maybe get rid of one now. Nah. Keep them. Why not? You never know, right? Cycle of life, a heart unit with plus ten and apply three spikes. I don't think I need another three cost health card. Animus of speed. You're not the right animus. I 
I think we're fine. I think I think does two branded warriors, a sentient, and a house kermit do enough to keep us going for a whole bunch of combats? If this had multi strike, I'd feel a little bit better. I'd also like to put multi strike on on possibly these. It's a lot of multi multi strike is very good. Is the problem? <laughs> it's it's a very good upgrade to find. Nah. I will take energy with the draw sentient that we have. And I will probably go this way. Yes. Ember, Power Stone, Eternal Stone. Nothing is consumed. Ten magic power goes on Glimmer, generally, as a rule. That's a very good start. Let's make aw uh, Awake or Sharpen cost less. I'm not playing this very often. I'll make Sharpen cost less. Plus four and four spikes is pretty good, especially on um, on Sweep, my man, Sweep, Husk Hermit. Yeah, there we go, that's what he's called. I'll probably come back and re-roll that. I'll just double check. This is not what I wanted to see. I wanted to start seeing a little bit of spikes. 100 health? That's a lot of draw. That's a lot of draw. Man, a spreading spores would be so good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Imagine a spreading spores. We'll just find a spreading spores, right? I saw that. I know that this said imp guy. I only just noticed this says double D. This is DD down here, or something along those lines. I don't know what that is in reference to. I should probably read the lore of this game a bit more than I have, which is none. Let's do this. Let's just go all in on that, shall we? And then remove a couple of trained stewards, as always. They are the worst card in the deck. The torches are also pretty bad. Permafrost. Permafrost the Awake. Do we need to permafrost anything? No, generally. Make one of these less terrible. Now do I minus one the Awake? Yeah, yeah, alright. we got four energy now. If we draw that and playing two other cards, sure. Why not? Why not? How do I think this is going? Ugh. I think this is probably one of those dies to fell runs. Not taking that. There's a flipping fly up all on my grill. And it's not an actual fly. I don't know what it is. It's not a flying ant. It's not a. It's not an actual fly. You know, with the compound eyes and the proboscis. Proboscis. I don't know what that is. It's not a mosquito. If it is, it's huge. I don't know. I don't know enough about insects. Relentless, obviously, because it's the boss. Resolve, gain plus five. Okay, so definitely play on lower floors, which we were trying to do anyway. It's just when the bottom floor becomes the small floor. That really annoys me. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Ugh. The pyre does do 50 damage to things now before we take anything. No, that's not true. It does, it does 50... Does twenty five for free, and then we take one round, and then it does, then it does fifty. Thirty five health. Sweep with only five attack. I don't, I don't think so. Especially with the light harnesses, right? They just, uh, they just scale. They just scale so much. If they come to the second floor. Oh look, the bomb's small again. How fair. Oh, you start with four rage as well. Like I did, I didn't know that. I can read, but.
Yeah. Yeah. Time for one of you to go. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're playing it a bit. We're playing it like this then. We're playing it like this. Don't at me. We got the collector out of that. Maybe I could have taken the trial if I decided to play. Ah, uh, no, because look at this. <laughs> look at this. Uh, plus four and four spikes on the front. This uh, flipping flying insects getting all up in my face. Go away, please. Hmm. I'll play this branded warrior the next time through the deck. I suppose. Or oh, plus four on the back line. Uh, on my back line. Don't think it's. I, I just give this spike some four attack actually does something then. You know? Um. You go down to 25. Maybe I play. Maybe I just play this on the top as a little tiny little mop up thing. Oh no, you go down to. No, you just die, right? Because the, the, cause of the dazed. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'll keep this. Man, Vapor Funnel is good. It was still correct to not take the trial, because we can't kill these in one Vapor Funnel proc. But it's the fact that it's mopping stuff up that we that is getting through. That is obviously bad news for the fact that we don't seem to be... You know, like, we can't even kill enemies with 35 health currently. Those are some cards. Those are some cards. Va oh, what a draw. What a draw. I'm the best. Vapor Funnel here is saved like. 40 health? Possibly even more? You do go up to plus 5 now, but 12. Take in like 70 around. Should be fine. Or whatever, it's, it's, so, it's so irrelevant how I play this now. You're comfortably dead. The sentient does die. I'd like to know if it's close. It's fairly close. The sentient so the sentients take about a hundred here, so we're doing about Oh, you went up to twelve, didn't you, because of how you work. I I know these things. We're doing a lot of damage. Our deck is also still filled of absolute basic cards. Healing spells cast on this floor cost minus one. I don't think that's really necessary. Focused growth, two energy, restore 25 health, draw two more cards. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Where are we going next? Another hell vent. Three branded warriors. No. Probably more card removes, right? Get rid of these atrocious torches. I think a thorned hollow would be very good, just because of the pure amount of uh, healing we've got in the deck. 
we're not really using it, we're not really utilising it, it's just all ending up going on the sentient at the front. The back line is just not getting anything, it's not necessary. And then we fight like one round of sweep and we draw the glimmer and it's all back to normal. I don't really need the health, I don't need 40, uh, 75 coins, I don't need to dupe anything, we're definitely going this way. Arm out, don't want any of that. March of shields. Doesn't seem necessary. Pyre Chomper does not seem necessary. Uh, although, there is some scenario where we draw like 10 cards with the Sentient and play the Pyre Chomper and then just empty our hand. But the only reason we'd want to do that is because our hand is, you know, like the deck is still 5 torches and 5, uh, five restores. We just need to sort that out. What you got for me, Concealed Caverns? I don't like clicking through the thing, I don't speed things up, I like the I like the suspense. Oh, how a random hellhorned consumable card. What were the other two? Melting and Stygian. Consume. Not consume not consume. Consume. Uh Hellhorned. Maybe, no, just skip that. Maybe, no. Maybe? Maybe last stand, holdover is the plan? No, definitely not. Although, <laughs> unless. <laughs> One horn's time is good here. JK, unless. And a no, that's a no from me, dog. Uh, Stygian, permafrost. Consume, apply silence. Ugh. Spell weakness, frostbite. Ugh. Gifts for regard, maybe, is the only one here that excites me because I can just play through all of the torches and the regens. But then, no, no. And melting, why would you ever take a melting card outside of melting? Unless it's remnant packed. Like remnant packed on, on the sentient, just then it's on its own floor at the bottom. But again, like, what do you. It doesn't win you the game. Because then dies on the bottom, you move it to the middle and it just dies. It does zero attack. <laughs> it, it does it does nothing. Alright, I'm going to click Hellhorn and I'm going to very, very seriously think about Wand Horns if it offers me a Rage Serum. Okay, skip. <laughs> I love how that took me five minutes to just instantly skip a card that I'd already just seen in a combat reward. Uh, eh, <laughs> eh. Permafrost, you're not a holdover. This costs 60 and then what, 90? So play 150 and then I can't get the third one anyway, okay. Right, so these torches are very slowly taking themselves out of the deck anyway. Okay, we just removed four cards from the deck. We're on 24. Did just spend all the money that I intended to spend at the unit shop. Here. To maybe find multi-strike. Does multi-strike on Branded Warrior really do a huge amount? Not particularly. But it's better than going this way. Or is it, though? Or is it? There's two free card removes here. Enemy units enter with armor 15. This guy is worrying. Like, plus... the heavy, right? So it's all now got 95 health as opposed to... I don't think we even kill this. I don't think we actually get this guy killed very quickly. 
So these guys come in with stealth, so watch this be the... Uh, and Crystal Cloak should just eat. As long as the Sentient is still on a decent amount of HP, we should eat a lot of the stealth rounds from that. Watch the bottom floor now not be small, now that uh, these guys have got stealth. I could take the challenge just because the Pyre will kill the Silent Marksman, even if I don't play anything at all. But they do 10 damage. I don't really want to just... Ah, I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it. I don't want my units to eat too much damage, just uh Oh look, the middle floor's small. whoop de flippin do No, I already hate what I've just done. I hate it. I hate it. Ah, it's probably fine. It's alright. Wow, you're actually going to kill yourself on the spikes. If I play this. And then I also get the collector, because dead, dead, dead collector hits. Wow, that's a turnaround for you, isn't it? How much do you take here? 16, that's acceptable. Why would I not just play this? I also had one energy to spare there. Great, good stuff. Good stuff, I'm a genius. Just press an end turn when you still have energy and playable cards. Thank God for that. You actually gain 16 here. Gross. I suppose we got the calcified embers. Are we going to draw next turn? No, we're we going to draw three cards here and a shuffle. We might find one of them, I suppose. There's a chance. Uh, play this? Does that take a slay away from you? No, because you just died to the spikes anyway, so yeah, sure. Save myself 10. This deck does definitely not beat Seraph. Does it? Hmm. And again, you will just die to spikes, so Branded Warrior is not really getting anything done. Branded Warrior needs to ascend again, I think. So I may as well just play this. Thirty-two, fifty-two. Okay, that's all right. That means that you don't. That's an interval from the damage from the from the pyre. What <laughs> said the spire? That's a different game. Take five armor, bud. Six. That's fine. This is uh, the deck's not working, is it? It doesn't work. I've managed to successfully stack absolutely no rage onto anything. How are you still not dead? Plus four and four spikes is eight. Well, at least we don't take any damage from the... Uh, I'm going to put the spikes here, just to do a touch more damage as this goes through. I'd really also like to make sure I draw the Glimmer next turn, I suppose. So this huge amount of HP should eat up a lot of the stealth, and then when we get to the top we should just mop up, like 590 is not a lot. It just depends on getting this backline killed. Hopefully this turn. Wow. Will you take will you take 80 just from spikes? We'll definitely draw the glimmer next turn, right? We're gonna we're about to draw so many cards. 
We definitely we won't definitely draw it. Obviously, that's not how numbers work. Ten is less than thirteen. Taking twenty, f uh, thirty-three around. Oh no, we're not. Oh, the spikes. The spikes. Of course, it's not that important. The spikes. All right, I'll just plug more regen into this. Maybe get an interval. We did. We did get an interval. Okay, we should have this quite comfortably, in fact. Excuse me? Well, I'm offended. These guys, these guys are just not cutting it, are they? Well, they didn't get any rage stacked up. Can I win without playing one of these? Or do I just play one? Thirteen, twenty-six, thirty-nine, fifty-two. So one, two, three. Dead. One, two, dead. One, two, three, dead. So I can't get anything over a plus four and four spikes on the back is like another. What did I just say? Four rounds there. Three rounds there. So that's seven. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven. So plus four and eleven is another forty-four with the four spikes. Four rounds is another twelve. It's fifty-six more. And then two health and a regen is three, six, eleven. That takes that would take Branded Warrior up to another interval on the attack. But that's still not enough. And this isn't a consume one either, is it? No. Okay. I think that math was right. It's certainly easier to just play a calcified ember. I mean, that's what they're there for, right? Ah, uh, don't I? I don't know. We just don't have the damage currently. We're very close. We need a plan to do enough damage to win the game. So, I suppose we should uh, try and do that. Ooh, the suspense! It's the historian. Quick. Endless. Trample. Endless. Endless sentient on its own floor at the bottom. Draws you a lot of cards. It draws you a lot of cards. Does it do anything else? Man, just one spreading spores here. And we would have been absolutely off the chain. Quick sweep on the husk hermit. Like, meh. Don't want to be taking slays away from the branded warriors, really. Nothing has a big, huge number on it to make trample really worth the effort. I'm out. I'm out. The other problem we've got is we now don't find any more units, ever. Like, these units have to now win us the game. <laughs> so, basically we lose. Oh look, Endless is here. Wow, not seen enough of that in this run. Ugh. 
Ugh. Maybe take maybe large stone the my boy Huskerma and take space from this boss. Two large stones. Play you on your own floor. Playing you on your own floor when it says apply rage through to friendly units is a bit miserable, isn't it? That's a bit sad. <laughs> 20 sweep with 70 health is a pretty good front line. You just can't play everything on the right floors. We don't have very many cards in the deck, so we can draw uh, a hidden passage quite easily. I'm going to take this. And uh, I'm going to be very upset when we lose, which we're almost certainly about to. Get rid of this. And uh, maybe just get rid of one of the restores. Like, we have five, and we draw so many cards, we don't really need to draw five a turn. Just play this. If we can just play this loads, that's kind of like spreading spores on its own, except without the regen. And the awakes. We can just play Sharpen and Awakes on Husk Hermit so it's got 50 spikes and 100 regen. And then we just win. Ugh. That's not a plan. Don't do that. Don't, don't do what I'm doing here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. These numbers, they're they're too high. I'm in serious trouble here. Oh, I don't want to draw the hidden passage already. Although maybe I did. Vapor Funnel basically just has to carry quite a lot of the run now. This in can is uh, just gross. <laughs> it's it's just this is very unfair. Ew. You ain't. It's like the only time in the world I've wanted a card that has silence printed on it. The question is whether we give this guy, like, literally 70 armor, 60 armor, to set up this floor. I'm going to give him 10, and I'm not going to do anything else. Okay, no, I'm gonna give it. Mm, mm, no, 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 no. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna give him ten. So if I play you for twenty-two, you get down to thirty-seven, and then get ten armor is forty-seven, which means I only take seven from. 
as pyre damage. I think that works. Because you lose the rage, so instead of 9, it's 7, dazed, hit, then you hit me, and then I, then you're dead. So I'll, t I'll, t I'll do that to take 7. I want to give you more attack so that you flip and start getting... Oh, maybe I should I should be stacking spikes up on the front here. That was a mistake because I could I'm going to draw so many cards every turn. That the spikes is actually quite valuable. So you're dead from the uh, vapor funnel. Double heavies is is gross. Oh wow, that's a good draw. How are you still not dead? Please. Oh dear. I guess I'm just eating it from that guy. I guess I should play the Glimmer up here. It at least takes him down to only three hits from four. I mean, it would have been nice to play down here, but it's not. It's not critical. Same problem here with this guy. Like it's just the same situation. I can't not even do 105 damage. I mean, please. Okay. Vague progress. Very, very vague progress. What can loosely be described as progress is happening. I don't know why I played one region on Huskermit, like, I couldn't tell you why. Ouch. Final wave. I'm not ready. I'm not ready, Phil. Oh, look at this. You're actually dying. Uh, is this a good idea? You still die to a... Branded warrior, that's the one I was like, tattooed warrior? That's not the name of the card, right? You still die 16 and 8 spikes, 24, 28, and then you die to one of these. Yeah, there's no way that that changes that. Give you all the armor in the world. Same with the sting, right? That doesn't change anything. Thirteen sixty-four. It's quite. It's a lot more than I thought it would be. Fifteen fifteen. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. It honestly is. This is actually dead. Actually made it past fell. That's possibly the longest individual fight I've ever seen. <sighs> Spikes on friendly units deal plus one damage per stack. Oh, there's a spreading spores! There's an actual spreading spores. Let's go. I still think it's energy. I still think the answer is energy. You draw so many cards from the sentient, I just... 110 gold. Have to go, have to go to this Merchant of Magic. It's fine. We're not removing any more cards. It might even dupe. Uh, no, we have to go to this Merchant of Magic. I guess we're going this way. Maybe we'll get like. There's a, there's a multi strike in here. I don't believe it. Does it matter? 
No, they're exactly the same card. Why would it matter? Man, I'm so dense. It's actually quite funny. Which one of these two exact identical cards should I put multi strike on? It's because in my mind I still thought I'd played Large Stone on one of them. Okay, save a bit of cash for the Merchant of Magic. Because even just a minus one on spreading spores is pretty big here. Two hundred HP. That's a lot of HP. And Seraph does what? Three uh, ten times three. So with some regen we can easily get seven rounds out of that. Seven times three is twenty one. At times whatever spikes we put on. Oh Ooh. Dare to dream. Do you dare to dream? Non boss enemy units restore all health when they move up the floor. I kinda wanna take the four hundred coins. But I don't see how we kill double Gilded Wings in this scenario. Like, I'd, I'd, we'd, we'd probably just lose to this combat, to be honest with you. Um, but we really need Vapor Funnel to be mopping up whatever doesn't get through. And we can't be affording to send uh, 190 HP units to the top. Okay, well this is miserable. Because this floor is already 50 damage, and I can't take 50 damage. It's alright. The deck is so small, we can afford to just play a Branded Warrior through next time and start stacking the spikes up and things. But this Gilded Wing is uh, it's already worrying. Oh no! No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I hate to do this. I hate to do this. But one of the Horned Warriors has multi strike. And that, in my opinion, is a kind of important thing to remember. So I'm sorry about that. And that is, you know. I'm not losing a run because I just forgot momentarily that one of my branded warriors was ever so slightly different. Ever so slightly in a critical run changing way. <laughs> Can you now afford to go at the bottom? Probably. Get you just killed, right? Before you go up and do 20 damage. Ugh. Ugh. 70 damage here. Let's do this. That's a very good get. That helps us in the magic shop quite considerably. I'm about to draw one, two, three, four, five cards. So there's a good chance I get Hidden Passage if I play this. And then with the Glimmer, you get Sword. And then we just start doing this. There's the Hidden Passage. You're going up with 120. Oof. That's a big oof. Up you go. Health. Uh, 105 is the increment, in fact, here for this. 70 and then 105, so that's fine. I think we were right here. To just, even though they cost two, it's fine. So many of the, so many of the other cards are... Uh, That's gross. <laughs> Battle floor is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're on 119, 127. I mean, yeah, like 35. 
What did I just say? 105, 140. Yeah, so there's no, no, nothing we can do there. You die to the spikes. Dying to the spikes is a problem because I kind of need Branded Warrior to be getting slays. And that's mostly the issue we're having here. Because you will just die to the spikes. Branded Warrior does not get anything done. Uh, 58. Yeah, we're not getting you below. Well, actually, are we? No. <laughs> no. If you're all dying to the spikes, may as well do this. I'll actually get Branded Warrior a slay here, which is, you know, it's not great, but it's, it's something. We're, we're starting. We're starting to get there. These restores are less than stellar, aren't they? A brief respite. You call this respite? It's not, is it? It's, it's horrible. Could have done with that sharpen again. How are there 17 cards in here? How many of them are spreading spores? Six. That's quite funny. Thirteen hundred and thirty. You're exactly dead from the vapor funnel. Like I love it. I absolutely love to see it. There's no point in even keeping you alive, is there, yeah. Dead! I was I was actually fully prepared there to have you not die and be like, yep, well <laughs> Oh, should really be careful with that kind of stuff because the spikes is gonna play a big part in whether things live or die. And again, I'm just I just keep playing cards. I just keep playing cards. The combats, they take so long. I know what you're thinking. Um, you're thinking, this is like the fifth time you've been offered edge prior. Why would you just not take it? It makes the awake free. It makes the restores free. It makes the spreading spores one. Like, and you're right, it does. It's very difficult to actually get it done. But, yeah, you're right. You're right. Does it make spreading spores cost one? How does it? How does Edge Prior actually work? Does it just anything that says restore health costs one fewer energy? So if it says regen on it, right? It's kind of a weird one. This one says restore two health, so maybe it doesn't actually work with this. Healing spells, like, what does that mean? What is a healing spell? If, because if it only, if it, <laughs> if it's only restores and not spreading spores, because spreading spores doesn't have health on it, it has regen, then I'm going to be upset. Minus one holdover, please. Two minus ones. Is minus one enough? Because I don't see what's in here. When you summon the second unit gain, uh, Pi gains plus 40, 50% of the dazed. Do we need to take this? Do we need to take this? 
do is the start of the deck so slow that we lose before we get set up to the point like if we had if we go into this combat with 89 health do we win compared to going in with 49 health i think the answer is probably no i think it's probably better to reroll for another minus 1 on uh, spreading spores but that is a slow strategy though isn't it oh man 40 pie health is a lot. That's a big question. Double heavies are basically getting through. I think... Alright. Okay. I think we take this. And then, if we drop below 40 health, I'll be vindicated. Friendly units enter with Sap 3. It's not a bad stop. It's not a great stop. It's not a bad stop. Fifteen times two. How very day. Like this, for example, you just get through, aren't you? Been very, very lucky with these hus with these u second turn unit and hidden passage draws, like. This guy alone may have already made it worth buying precious plating. This is ugh. Ugh. Glimmer down here does a lot. Does a very, very a lot. We shuffle in the deck without the spreading spores, which is very, very upsetting. Like, I can't believe it's in the bottom two cards. Can we get you to 105? 22, 34, yes. But I have to then play the glimmer up at the top. Hang on, wait, no, that's not numbers. Yes, it is. 83. I think it's fine. Or is it? Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> I've got three restores here I can play. And a fortify. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's the edge prior. But with no way to ascend it. And no way to ascend this branded warrior. And uh, we don't do enough damage, do we? Basically, is the, is the answer to this. Well, we just don't do enough damage. How much does this do? Flipping loads. I can't even play this down here. I'm gonna die, and it's really unfair. 
Well, we had to buy fire housing at least. We sort of proved that. Look at this! Look at this! I mean, we're dead from here as well. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. At least we can find this out, I suppose. No, it doesn't even make these cost zero. Oh, no. Hundred and fifty four. The deck. It was too slow. It was too slow. I feel like we gave it a good shot, though. Wow, that was a long, that was a long, painful run. That was good. That, that was good. I, I mean, branded warrior is just not very good, really, is it? What else did we even see? What else was? What even were the other options there? I don't remember. I feel like we did the best with what we had. Thorned Hollow would have been really good. Thorned Hollow would have been really good. Like we had so much regen. Maybe we did. Maybe we do take the uh, Awoken Hollow for that reason, just because the Awoken Hollow would have done a lot of damage, a lot more than the Sentient. The Sentient was just card draw, but it wasn't enough on its own. It needed more units. I just don't remember even seeing that many units. Animus of Will would have been very tasty. Give that like plus ten. Sit it at the back. Probably would have been better than the Sweep. Ah, uh, the Sweep was all right actually. No, the sweep wasn't doing much after we put started putting spikes on the sentient sentinel sentient. The spikes kind of were just stealing kills from Husk Termit, which didn't need anything. It wasn't even the one that gets more damage from Slay. Like even that would have been okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, last, yeah, we've reached the end of the video where this train terminates. Sorry, I was trying to do a theme of it. It's a long time. It's been like an hour and 15 minutes. Can't expect... Can't expect those kinds of running jokes to uh, to land. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave me a like. Whoops, sorry, I dropped something there. Leave me a professional YouTube man. Leave me a like. It's very good. It helps me know that you're enjoying the videos and uh, I should keep making them. If you want to subscribe, then that's also good. I would also very much approve of that. And leave me a comment if you've got any ideas about how this run looks any different. Other than that, take care. I'll see you next time.